To move into Texas three months ago. Wow. Now it seems like to me it seems like modeling and the Ukraine kind of like go together. I don't know. What it's like it's like everyone in Ukraine is a figure skater or a model. <laughs> what is that? Well, you know what? Um, back in time, actually, it was not maybe as popular as now, and uh, most of models like when you're twenty, like it was like you you were done already, like you were like you retire from model. So you have to start when you're 12, 13. Uh, but now it changed basically and it changed um, over the world also. Um, so you can still model in your 20s, even in your 30s if you look good. Uh, so, but yeah, that time in Ukraine, I was very young when I started to model it. Wow. Yeah. wow. My older sister brought me to a model agency and, you know, they took me. They did, yeah. And and so you went to an agency and did they do the whole thing where they said, oh, you got to get the pictures and pay for the portfolio and all that stuff? Um, no, no, not really. Because um, in Ukraine, I don't know about now because I actually I live here for you know, several years already, mm -hmm. but um, it was not like really freelance, like models, it was only agencies, so if you go to a good agency and they're interested in working with you, then they just, you know, they work with you, they uh, don't make you pay money mm -hmm. for pictures or something else, so they basically... They take your pictures, so you get your, you know, starter portfolio, and then you just go uh, to different castings, auditions, and uh, book jobs, yeah. travel. That's good. Now, here in America, as you know, we have a new president, and he has a beautiful uh, uh, Slovenian model uh, yeah. as his wife. When you see something like that, does that make you say, woohoo, we're doing it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, we're coming up. We can make this work. Well, you know, uh, when I see Melania, I just, I think she's a beautiful woman and she's very stylish. She's beautiful. I don't think she expected to become first lady. Um, <laughs> she just got married to him and he decided to run for president. So, uh, but I think uh, we're going to have, we basically have already future very yeah. beautiful first lady yeah and it's kind of because like when i was a kid uh a beautiful russian or ukrainian model you're pretty much just going to be like a james bond's girlfriend like that's that's, <laughs> that's that's like the highest career thing that's going to happen is you get to be a girl in a james bond movie in a hot bathing suit scene or something like that but now, now you could become the first lady of the United yeah, States. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> right? So the world has you changed. Know, many options. Yeah, you know, exactly. Even first lady. 
So when you get your modeling work, because I saw a lot of your pictures, and your pictures look really great, like you're doing really good work. Uh, do you are you getting them from an agency here? Or are you getting a lot of work on your own uh, by yourself? I used to be signed with uh, Ford oh, wow. uh, agency uh, back in Arizona, and I was signed with Arizona Model Management as my mother agency. Um, so in Arizona. Um, most of my work was coming through agency because even when um, some photographers uh, would contact me, I would refer like them to my agent mm -hmm. so they could you know work things out together. Mm -hmm. uh, but as I told you, I took a break, so I not I don't uh, I didn't sign with agency. Uh, here mm -hmm. in Texas. Right now, I just you know, do it on my own, and it works well for me right now. You know, it's Maybe really in the future, I decide to be signed, and then I'll be looking for some agencies. That's really interesting that you say that, because I've heard that a lot of girls that uh, used to be with agencies, say five years ago, are now using Instagram agency, or, you know, they're just mm -hmm. putting their pictures up, letting the client, the photographer, contact them directly, negotiate their own fee. I've even interviewed agencies that uh, say it's really hard for the agent now because so many girls, they're doing it freelance. Would you agree? Like, Well, you know what? It also depends on the style of modeling that you do. Uh, there are so many model agencies. Um, when I'm talking about model agency, it's something big, you know, right, some right. famous uh, agencies like Polimina, Ford, uh, like there are many of them also, but they do not take everybody, okay? They have right. some requirements also. And um, most of the work that you get through agency, it, you work more in fashion, style, you do lifestyle, um, not as much glamour, mm -hmm. uh, usually. So Instagram um, and self-advertisement, it really works well. And definitely, um, I get a lot of contacts just through Instagram, you know, and people message me uh, and I get some bookings uh, through Instagram also. Uh, but it's not like a, it's a catalog of work or it's not some like fashion. Of course, there's no runway. Or it's just different type of jobs. But yeah, you can do well mm -hmm. in that area also. Agency, uh, they're looking usually for young girls uh, who kind of who could become in the future maybe famous, you know, models or land uh, many big contracts. Mm -hmm. That's what they're looking for. And usually even if you signed with a good agency, they still will be focusing uh, on few girls, few models, and they try to advertise them uh, the most. And other models, and it's like the most amount of them, uh, will be left a little bit, you know, not as busy, I would say. Mm -hmm. How lucky can one guy be? I kissed her and she kissed me Like the fella once said Ain't that a kick in the head? The room was completely...
Now, being that you're in Texas, you know that Texas is like the most beauty pageants in America uh, originate from Texas. Did you, did you? But you've never done the pageants, right? You don't. You've never done no. that. Yeah. I don't see like you know they always have this special talent you know thing and I'm not sure <laughs> what would they do there. See, t to me, the pageants is. I mean, are pageants rigged? Like, do they already know who the winner is in the pageants? It seems kind of slanted. How do you take 50 girls, narrow down to five, narrow down to three, narrow down to one? That's, it's kind of, I don't know about that, you know? But you never did the pageant work, right? No. And then no. what about uh, some of the work, like music videos? Have you done a lot of music videos? Actually, um... No, I haven't, but I would love to. <laughs> you know, it's funny because like a music video used to be such a popular thing in America that a girl could become famous from a music video. Like you could be the girl from the Green Day video and you, you'd be a star, you know, uh, but not so much anymore. Now it's like, oh, yeah, everybody does. Me. Psh, psh, psh. You know what I mean? Uh, what What famous celebrity do people say you look the most like? Famous celebrity one? That you look the most like. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it, it's hard to say. Sometimes people would compare me to some... Paulina Pirescu, it's like a model. Oh, Paulina, so yeah, yeah, of course. I look uh, like Paulina too. Yes. That's funny. <laughs> few, few people did, and, you know, but... Angelina Jolie? Know, what, what do you think? I don't know. What, what about Angelina Jolie? Well, yeah, I've, I've been compared to her also. Um, I don't know, maybe because of my uh, face and like bone structure, I don't sure. really have her lips. <laughs> I, could, I, could see, I could see you getting stopped and said, somebody said, oh, hey, aren't you Angelina Jolie? Uh, well, yeah, I did actually a few times. Yeah, a few people. Would, yeah, yeah, I could see that. Maybe have you ever thought about doing a look-alike job, like Angelina Jolie look-alike? No. You no. could you could do it. I mean, you could pull it off. Yeah, why not? I have to. Maybe I have yeah. to try, right? And and what about acting? Besides modeling, have you thought about going into acting? I did a little bit of acting actually, and I love doing acting. I really enjoy. It. Um, but, you know, I never really, like, went to that direction, so uh, I just wasn't um, exposed to acting that much. Mm -hmm. You know, like, all my network, it's mostly uh, print jobs nice. and not that much of acting. But maybe, mm -hmm. maybe I just have to work on it, probably, because I love it, Yeah, you know. Now, speaking of, you know, working on it and loving it, um, a lot of the acting jobs, modeling jobs, uh, they want you to show your body. How do you feel about doing modeling where they say, oh, wear the swimsuit, the lingerie, this, this implied topless, right? Yeah, you did so good. <laughs> um, you know, I think that model you can't be just model and shoot like portraits so you know if you're a model you have to be comfortable with your body definitely mm -hmm. and uh there is nothing wrong with showing your body in a tasteful way definitely mm -hmm. in a classy way not like you know pornography i mean uh, those i don't do those <laughs> things sure, but sure. yeah actually about acting, like sometimes people uh, message me and ask me if I'm interested to take part in, you know, those adult movies. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, and that's, <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> and that's, yeah, that's like, no, no, no. Um, yeah. Do you think that it's become more popular for more nudity, uh, more sexual type of, uh, because of the internet? Or do you think that, no, nah, not really. It's always been like that for girls. They want girls to get naked. Well, I think that, I think it became more popular. I think that people um, look for 
sexual appeal and you know talk about sex much more nowadays mm. and even when we look at some celebrities and like oh who is sexy uh, you know we talk a lot about how people look and um, it's like a trend to be attractive to mm. be sexy so it's kind of equal to being successful you know people mm -hmm. judge by uh, pictures and sometimes it could be hard for you know certain people to be at that level uh, yeah. but yeah definitely I mean right now basically sex sells a lot right you know because everything should be sexy and you see some sexy people like like uh, Heidi Klum recently did a completely nude photo shoot Kim yes. Kardashian did a completely nude. Uh, even uh, Miley Cyrus did a music video completely naked. So when you see that, because you're a woman, I I, I don't know, because I'll never be a woman, right? But when you see that, do you say, oh, man, now you're making it harder for us women because you got naked? Um, you know, I personally, I like to look at beautiful women Mm -hmm. uh, I enjoy it. I'm not bisexual, but I really, you know, love when the woman looks good and sexy. It's something that draw your eyes to. I mean, it's mm -hmm. probably our nature. So, for me personally, I'm okay with that. But probably there are many people who would disagree. Sure. Uh, I, mean, I like when, if it looks good, why sure. not? Sure. I mean, have you seen some poses, like, from famous people? I mean, like, Kim Kardashian's very famous. Heidi yeah. Klum, very famous. Have you seen a campaign that you see they're completely naked except for some go-go boots? <laughs> and, you, and you say to yourself, I would never do that. It looks beautiful on her, but I wouldn't be comfortable being that naked. Wow. Well. Uh, you know what? They usually uh, choose some more classy naked looks, mm -hmm. and I'm fine with that. Oh it's, wow! It, it looks it looks good. You know, Vogue is a famous like icon. You know, fashion magazine. They post a lot of nudes. Sure. Especially sure. Italian Vogue, um, but. There are other uh, magazines like Hustler, so they oh, do too, but it's a different type. So I'm for you know for Vogue, <laughs> <laughs> right? Personally, like put me on the Vogue side, and I'm good. That's good. <laughs> so let me ask yeah. you this: So you're obviously you've been real successful with your modeling career. Um, do you have any advice to give to some young model uh, starting off that you might want to say? This is yeah. good for them, right? Well, I would tell them, keep it classy, never shoot with somebody who just pays you, you know, but is not a good photographer. Because if you... <laughs> right. exactly. Trust me, trust me, there are so many people who, like, who think that they're a photographer, but they're horrible, like very, very bad. And if you start doing that kind of work, you're going to get very bad pictures and you're going to get very bad reputation. And you will never get to shoot with some good photographers. They will never shoot you. Mm, that's and that's point. it. You, you're done. That is a good point. I like everything you had to say and I thank you for being on the show. Uh, so, Lana, 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 or Lana, what do we call you? Lana. Lana Alexandra. Yeah, Lana. Lana Alexandra. How do we reach you if people want to follow you? They want to become fans on the social media? How do they find you? Well, I have an Instagram account. Uh, it's at Lana uh, under, uh, slash Alexander. And my Facebook, basically. Those my two accounts. Nice. And you encourage people to reach out if they want to get to know you to contact you through social media. Oh, yes, of course. That is great. Yeah. 
Any big project coming up? You want to kind of give us a little preview of something we can expect in the next couple months coming out from you? Well, uh, December is going to be a very busy month for me. Oh, wow. And, uh, yes, I'm going to be traveling to San Francisco to shoot with um, one very good photographer. We're going to be doing some editorial work. And um, I'm going to Los Angeles for a couple of days. Nice. Going to be having a meeting with... Um, Playboy, so we'll see, so we'll see. <laughs> how it goes. Nice. And the, yeah. the new Playboy with no nudity, even better for you, right? Yes, that's right. But we'll see because they want to talk about different kind of um, opportunities. And I don't know yet, but definitely I will be posting much more pictures because I have a lot of work I have. A lot of photos to share, and I will be very uh, grateful to have more people follow me. You know, that's beautiful, beautiful. Congratulations to you! You're doing very well. I would love mm -hmm. to uh, have you back on the show on a regular basis. Just come back and do a show with us. Let us know how things are going uh, with you. It sounds fabulous. Hey, man, it was the show today. I was very, very happy to have my guest on. She's doing wonderful, wonderful, wonderful big things. And uh, look for her on the social media. Once again, that is Lana Alexandra. And again, thank you for being on the show. Everybody else, if you ever want to be on the show, hey, all you have to do is call us. You can call 702-540-3498. Or you can email us, email beyondbuzz at yahoo.com. And you know what I say at the end of every show, live the life you love, love the life you live. Thanks.